morning guys it's about two o'clock in the morning <laughs> and I'm up I've like I said before I promised my physical therapist and his staff that I would make them curry chicken so my appointment is at 7 this morning so I'm up at 2 o'clock and I totally forgot to put the peas them this work last night for the rice and peas hold on so right now is the first part of the weekend So this first stage of the chicken, we don't season it up yesterday, so it stay overnight marinating in the fridge. So now it just have grown up with it, you know. That gets some color. Past that, make it own water now, so I'll we'll cover the pot. I just gave it a stir, and I'm going to reduce the heat a little bit, cause you know. And then on the other side, in this bad boy here now, I have the peas. I didn't have red kidney beans. Ooh. I think these are pinto beans. But they're kind of pinkish. So then we get the rice a little color. So that I go and cook them with the garlic and the pimento and a piece of thyme. Here's my bag with the seasoning for go back in the chicken once the chicken reach where it's supposed to reach. So we have a potato, we have thyme, onion, all the goodness in the bag, right? Yes, all the goodness is in there. So once the chicken reach right me to reach these go back in there for help with the gravy and you know how it go right so i guess i'm gonna be on the sofa i started watching a series on apple tv yesterday called blackbird so i'll be watching blackbird while i'm preparing this i have to be out of here by 7 30 to get to my appointment on time and then right after physical therapy i'm going to pain management so some of this chicken is going to my pain management doctor as well. She doesn't know it yet. So I'm gonna pack her um, curry chicken and rice and peas too. And I bought these containers from Dollar Tree. Hold on, let me show you the containers. I have to wash them out too. Poofy, what you want? Go to sleep. So I bought these containers from Dollar Tree. They're really good. They're like meal prep containers. They are already, um, I'm gonna put it out on the can butter it. So I got this one because I'm also making a salad to take the physical therapy group. I'll put it in there. My physical therapist will get salad, but I have a smaller container I can put her salad in separately. Um, these are the meal prep containers from Dollar Tree. They're two and a pack for $1.25. They're not bad. So I'll put my rice in here and I'll put the protein in here. Or maybe I should reverse it because I know everyone in physical therapy they're like super super healthy so they might be watching their carbs so I'm thinking maybe the rice here and the chicken here we'll see when we start share and then I didn't put a lot of scotch bonnet pepper in it because a couple of them expressed to me they don't like spicy foods but I'm confused because when they say spicy I'm thinking peppery one young lady tell me that um she doesn't like food that's overly seasoned. So I told her she's not gonna like Jamaican food because we season the heck out of our food, right? With tons of herbs and natural seasoning and then of course the curry powder and other little things, right? So, and see they stack pretty nicely. So I got four of them to have eight all together. So I'll have two left over for myself. Or, um, I like these because when you give people food, you don't need to give them your good Tupperware and then you can't get it back. So you give them these and they keep them. And I always tell people, <laughs> my grandmother used to always tell me, when you're, when you're, um, when someone gives you a container with food or that had food in it or a cup with tea, 
when you're returning it to the owner, you have to put something in it, right? You cannot return it empty. Her explanation behind that thought was sharing food with someone is a very good way of showing not only that you care, but you're extending blessings that they will always have something to eat, right? Their cupboards will never run dry or their belly will never be empty. So when we return the container to you with something in it, if I even a sandwich, if it's someone who can't cook, some sandwiches, if I even some cold cereal with milk or snacks, just something in here. So it's like both of you are blessing each other that your stomachs will always be full, right? So I'm looking at the fire. I think I need to turn the fire down under the peas. I'm just hoping that these peas aren't like hella hard. I have not cooked in a while and I definitely have not made rice and peas in over five months, maybe six, so my half this so. So I don't even have the rice that I usually use. Usually I use jasmine rice. I have a, a sweet sticky Asian rice, Chinese rice. No, it's a, I think it's some kind of sweet sticky rice Daniela bought from Japan because she's into like Japanese cuisine. So that's all that's in the house. But I'm going to make it work. It's going to work some way, shape or form it if it work. And if it come down to it and it not work, I'll just run out to Giant when the chicken is done and I'll go get a pack of rice because Giant is like down the road. Look up Daniela, make me an up in an early morning run and get a little rice and I'll just put it in the rice cooker while I take my shower so at the end of the day if they don't get rice and peas they'll get white rice uh, so stay tuned <laughs>